Hey guys, welcome back. All right, this is my second take of this video. I kind of screwed something up before, so here we go again. Um, recently, uh, I'm currently in the process, I've been doing renovation in this house. We moved in here a little less than a year ago, and I've had to rerun a bunch of electrical lines that are in the kitchen, doing some stuff, and I've had to take existing lines and raise them up and put them through beams and so forth and without going in and disconnecting them at the source and coming all the way back through it's easier to snip them re-splice them together and i was trying to find good connectors i was initially going to use wire nuts but i looked around online to see what a lot of electricians were using a lot of electricians in europe and australia were using these little wago connectors which look like this it's a little connector it's awesome it has a little lever that comes up on either side and you can take your wire and you trim it a little bit at the end you stick your wire in and flip it down and do the same on the other side and now you've got a, a nice little splice and it's really strong works freaking awesome really good really really sturdy they work great i've been using them uh for the last few weeks now i really like them and you can find these on amazon i'll put a a link below i don't have an affiliate link yet i should probably get one but i don't have one yet but i'll put a link in the description for wago connectors i believe these are good for 16 gauge all the way up to 12 gauge wire um, and it can do solid core or wrapped but um anyway i had all these connections with these wires and a bunch of these little wago nuts wago connectors on here and i really needed to put them in a junction box so i went to the hardware store, look for junction boxes. They had these big chunky ones, and I was like, I know they make smaller ones. I've seen them used before, but they just didn't have any. So I went online to look, and I came across these little boxes that are made by Wago, which are perfect because they basically mount on the wall. You make your connection; they fit inside perfectly. It's got like a little little fin here that grabs onto the outside of your uh your wire um housing like this and then this doesn't pull out when you pull it it basically keeps force on here it's, it's it's great design um and they're really small so you can close it up and then this mounts to the wall but i can't find these boxes in the states hardly anywhere they're not on amazon there weren't anywhere that i could find them i ended up finding them on ebay um again i online find people all over like i said like Europe and Australia using these things all over the place. Can't find them in the US. Maybe they're not up to code. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, so I got them. They're great. Um, but when I went to put them up, I realized they don't have any mounting points inside. And they require these little uh, things they call buttons that you screw into the wall and then these channels here slide in. So you put your buttons on the wall and then this mounts to the buttons, which is fine. But now I gotta go find the stupid buttons online and I was like, okay, I don't want to do this. I'm going to have to wait another five days to get the parts. Um, so I decided to model my own, my own little slider bracket here, which pops up inside. You screw this to the wall. And then now this pops right in place. And now your little Wago uh, box is now fixed to the wall, just like if you use the buttons. But what's good about this is you don't have to measure out the buttons because on the Wago buttons, the one, at least the ones I found, they're individual. So you have to measure them, put them in place, drop the thing in. You can just screw this to the wall, and then now this will pop right on the on the bracket, and you're good to go. Um, I made I made this in Fusion 360. Let's take a look here. I hope I don't mess this up. This is where I messed up last time. Um, there we go. We're in Fusion, and here's what the bracket looks like and it's pretty handy but the thing is i was getting low on these boxes i have like two left but i've got i don't even know probably 10 more things that i need to connect so i was like okay i need to make some junction boxes uh what do i do i'm like well i like these so maybe i can copy the design so i came up with uh this one right here just a little box based on the Wago design. So here's here's the original, um, like this. You can see it's kind of similar in design, really similar in size, and uh, this is printable in one piece. It has the bracket built in, so it's not a two-piece thing. When you print it, the brackets are here, so you can just screw this right to the wall, uh, and it has a little lid, like so. 
Uh, I've just bumped something on my screen here. Let me make sure I'm not messing it up. There we go. Um, has a little lid that pops on like so. And this is fine. But I printed a couple of these and then the lid is, it works, but it's not super tight. So I figured I was, okay, I'm, I'm gonna mod this. There's a couple of things on the actual Wago box here that I noticed that I really like. So you see these holes in the top. They go down through here and then they come out the bottom and you can run a zip tie through the mount to zip the top shut if you need to, which I like. I don't need to do that, but I like the option. So I did a new bracket, um, new bracket slash junction box where it has the holes and it has little slots here. So when you run the zip tie down, it'll come out the bottom, it'll be set. I also made more positive little keyed uh, notches, connectors on the top here so that when you close this, it's pretty tight on its own. Like you can pop it open, but it's, it's a lot harder to do than the last one. So it's a little bit better design. I'm gonna look at this in Fusion really quick. Sorry for bumping the microphone here. And back to Fusion. All right, we're in Fusion. So in Fusion, it looks like this. I'll shut this off. Actually, I'll turn the box on. So you can see the box, I made it so the bracket, I'm gonna get, turn the bracket off, is identical to the one that I used before, but it's part of the box. Uh, this prints in one piece with no support material. I just print them solid. And this is a good candidate for material like PETG. It's really sturdy. Uh, this little fin here that grabs the wire when you put it through. I made it at an angle, so this still has a little bit of flex to it. Again, with PETG, this is perfect, uh, but doesn't need any support material, so just print your little, little clip fin here. So when you push the wire through, when you go to pull it out, this basically uh, cantilevers against this, and it is uh, tightens up, so it doesn't let the wire back out. It's pretty cool. And, and for the zip tie mounts you can see i angled the inside here which is a thing that the wago uh connector does not have because the wago goes straight through the bottom but this one i'm going to make it come through the front so you can screw it to the wall and still zip tie it uh, i angled the inside here so when you push the zip tie through it'll you know feed itself through the bottom properly uh, and here is the lid and yeah that's it and it's super handy again um I'm not trying to knock off Wago. I highly recommend buying the proper boxes if you have access to them, but if you don't and you just need a quick electrical box um, that you want to print, I have made these and I'm gonna, I got a bunch of them here, a whole big pile. I am going to post the files uh, to, my, to my Thingiverse page so that you can use them if you need to. Again, the, the original boxes are, are amazing but I just don't have access to them here and I don't wanna to have to wait to get more of them. It takes forever, but if I could buy them, I'd just buy them because they're great. But yeah, little Wago boxes are pretty cool. And then here's my, my generic uh, my generic version. You know, kind of a side by side. I'll flip it here so you can see. And yeah, they do the job. But, and now I'm just talking in circles. So I'm gonna let you guys go. If you want this, uh, there'll be a link to my Thingiverse page below and you can you can grab those, or if you just want the little mounts for the, if you've bought the Wago boxes and you don't have the mounts, you can buy yourself, you can download the little mounts, they're free on my Thingiverse. Again, PETG, really good material for this. And you'll have an, a, the ability to mount your, your silly boxes. Uh, I wish they sold these here. As soon as I find a place, I'll buy tons of them because they're, they're great. But yeah, anyway, Wago boxes, super cool stuff. Hopefully my temporary printable version is handy for some people and if it is let me know but um on that note i'm going to stop this video before i ramble on too much longer and uh, it'll be good i'll be back soon bye kids bye